Hey guys, this is Hardcraft, and welcome back to another episode of the Windwreck HD. This is, of course, the uh, second commentary episode uh, in a row. If you missed last episode, go check it out. Uh, it was up yesterday, uh, of course. And we're obviously continuing with uh, Galen's Tower. Um, so in we go into the Earth Temple section, which is, of course, uh, the boss Jalhalla. Um, I mean, there's quite a few enemies back there, so didn't uh, want to go and get those. Uh, but unfortunately, we have another one of these puzzles. I don't, don't really like these. These are very annoying. Uh, so I just, I just uh, for, for most of these, I'm pretty sure I just ran down the hall. Get all the team stones open and see what we get. Uh, so of course, here is another light puzzle. Uh, we have to go and get uh, one of the shadow choo choos. I'm not quite sure what they're called. Uh, but yeah, it's those things that we have to put on the switch. Uh, oh my word, I said switch. Ten days. Whoa. I want to do like, some countdown stuff. Um, yeah, there was a fairy there that I missed, which is a shame. Uh, so yeah, this one does take quite a bit of time to get because I realize the light is down there so we have to uh, shine the light on one of the shadow choo-choos um, And then carry it all the way down Which is a lot harder than you think it took me quite a, a few times to get that uh, or To get this I should have just gone and get it instead of trying to get that magic pot but oh well. Um, yeah, this one's ob obviously gonna uh, de stone. If I, I don't know. Yeah, it's not gonna be stone for much longer. I mean, if I hadn't rolled, then I think I probably could have been able to get up. Um, I kind of just have to make a straight line for it and then not not roll past it. Yeah, this one I'm not gonna be able to get either, unfortunately. Cause that one's just going. And then, of course, there's a style force that stops me getting there. And it's so annoying. Um obviously need my bombs here because they're incredibly useful in defeating style force. Might have to remember that one for Breath of the Wild. Uh see if Star Force weren't like that in uh, that game as well. Uh, pretty interesting. But yeah, at this point I'm getting incredibly frustrated um, at this. Uh, so I just kind of want to get it done at this point. Uh, but luckily this, this is the last one uh, that we have to do. You can see some fire down there <laughs> of enemies that we missed. Um, pretty sure I just about get this one as well. Because uh, I want to obviously get all this stuff. And then that starts going up. I'm like, no! And, but luckily, I make it up there and it's all fine. So, <sighs> just another. That would, that would have been very annoying if I hadn't reached that. Well, here we go again with Jalhalla, um, the boss of the Earth Temple. Um, never really noticed how uh, nice the uh, music was for this uh, boss. Um, obviously, pretty different with. Uh, uh, the kind of soundtrack, it, it does sound a bit weird uh, with the Mordor one that comes later. I've noticed it kind of just sounds with, like with an electric piano more than a, um, uh, I think it's strings, the first one. Um, so, yeah, uh, it does change it a little bit. Uh, so, we'll just shine the light on Jarhalla here and throw him against the pillars. Uh, of course, spin him round, throw him on there, and then defeat all the little ghosts running around. I mean, it's not a really hard boss, uh, Jalhalla, by any means. It's a pretty nice one, actually, uh, to fight. Uh, so, yeah, now we, of course, are almost done. Uh, we just have uh, this last stage to go. Uh, miss out on the light there, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but yeah, now uh, just throw him over at that one. And get ready and go. There we go, that is, uh, that is it for Jalhalla uh, version 2. And now we get on to Mulgara again. 
because Mulga is great and I spend literally the next 10 minutes of this episode doing this in case you're wondering so yeah that's fun but I think there's only two or three more episodes which is absolutely perfect uh, <coughs> excuse me yeah it's absolutely perfect um, so obviously uh, very happy about that he's going to finish on time for Breath of the Wild um, and I don't know why he did that though. And of course we get knocked out of the sky on the first one, that's what uh, But yeah, Breath of the Wild coming out in 10 days. Um, if you're not excited, then what are you doing? What, why are you not excited? Um, you should all be excited at this point for Breath of the Wild. I mean, come on. If you're watching uh, uh, this Let's Play, then I mean, come on. How could you not be excited for Breath of the Wild? Uh, so I admit I do get a little bit stuck here. Not quite sure um, like if we can go with a deck relief which it appears that we can uh, for some reason go that way uh, yeah then I realised that we can actually go through otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make it through there um, which is fine uh, team for goblins uh, right there uh, I'm going to make an update video pretty soon I'm pretty sure this weekend uh, that's going to be coming out, just explaining what I'm going to do with Breath of the Wild and where I'm going to go with my channel um, with Breath of the Wild coming out. Um, so, yeah, look out for that if you're uh, interested. Because um, that'll be soon. Uh, but yeah, now we're uh, sailing over to this. And I realise that is Hookshot Targets there. And that is a shame. <laughs> I could have saved a bit of time, but oh well. Um, heading to uh, Mulgara's fight again. Uh, so yeah, now we get to listen to this epic music again. With a little bit of a remix in there. I think you'll see what I mean. When the uh, melody starts playing. Yeah, here we go. It does sound like more of an electric piano. More than a um, more than whistle and the stuff. Uh, so at this point I was thinking this is going to be a pretty easy fight, it's going to be pretty uh, straightforward, you know, uh, pretty linear and that. Uh, but of course, I always have to complicate things and these little annoying things make me get eaten about four times. Uh, so I somehow managed to escape there, I don't know how, quite how I managed that, but I'm pretty sure I get eaten here. Oh no, no. So I get, I get a second hit off. So then it's like, okay, there's only one or two more hits. So we're all doing well. But as you know, as you notice, there's still well, like seven minutes left in the episode. Uh, and I do explain things after I defeat the boss. Uh, so I had to come out of the ground. I'm obviously, very closely linked to Molduga, which we've seen from Breath of the Wild in the uh, Super Bowl commercial. Uh, which is pretty cool. And then we've obviously seen the new one as well, uh, which is also looking really nice. Um, so, yeah. More exciting Breath of the Wild news, but there we go, get eaten. Lovely. Um, which, yeah, it's a shame. Uh, but, yeah, we get another chance here, but we keep on locking on to the, um, to the little ones. Um, so, yeah. Keep on trying this for a while. Almost gets me again there. Almost. I'm pretty sure it gets me again. Okay, no. Yeah, we have one more, I think, uh, to get. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're beating this pretty quickly now, I guess. Um, I'm just coming out of the uh, floor there. Um, yeah. If you are excited for Breath of the Wild, do leave a like on the video. Greatly appreciated. Might as well get that out of the way now. While we're waiting for me to defeat uh, Moldera. Just taking too long. Um, yeah, get eaten again there. Which is lovely. Like getting eaten. Um, more of the little worms are released when that happens as well, which is horrible. 
don't get it there. I'm just going to uh, almost eat me again. With that pretty early this time. He just doesn't let me, like, um, uh, target Mulgara's tongue uh, when the little things are about. So I realise that I'm, you know, I'm going to have to. Um, I mean, I, I almost got it wrong. Of course, it eats me again. <laughs> Getting uh, very annoyed at this point. I'm like, great, now I'm only on three hearts. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, so yeah, I believe I get it. No, okay, no, don't, don't get it this time. We are almost dead now. Pretty sure with one heart remaining. Uh, now two. But yeah, this should be it now. Um, yeah, there we go. So that is the final uh, one, of course. That's the final boss. Still have a few minutes left in the episode. Um, so yeah, that's uh, all four bosses uh, done. The boss rush is now complete. And this door can crumble with the sign of Ganon uh, right there, which is really cool. Um, so the back disappears before the front, which I always thought was a bit weird, but oh well. Still looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I decided to just drink the rest of my grandma's soup um, before we head on. So I just uh, put all my items back here. Don't know why I put the hammer on. Um, yeah, for whatever reason I put the hammer on. Do remember that we need the boomerang though in this uh, section. Uh, mini blinks here, obviously very annoying enemy. Don't like them. Uh, easy to defeat. Uh, but they're still very annoying. Uh, yeah, there we go. Rupees. Not that we... Well, I, I mean, did, I did need some. I, and I'll tell you what I meant by that soon. Um, so, yeah, here we are into the uh, depths of Ganon's Tower. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we have two doors here that we can go through. Um, we have to go to the other one first, I believe. Um, forget what to do here momentarily before going to the other door. This is what we needed to do. Um, so yeah, here we go to this one. It just showed up, shows us the uh, order in which you uh, have to uh, boomerang them. Uh, so it goes Mulgra, Goma, Jalhalla, and Kalidamos. Uh, so just listen to the uh, King of Red Lions here, because reasons. Um, and yeah. Uh, what, what, what does this say? Sword Hilt my so Okay, yeah. It's basically saying uh, whichever way the Sword Hilt uh, faces is the way to go, and that will be clear what that means in the next episode. Um, so when we go to here, the show is again in case we forgot. That's why I said to go to the job with Jack Haller, and then kind of hit us. Is that more than a horror? Just get those. Get those. Um, um, well, obviously, yeah, it's close to the end, end of the episode now. Um, so, I have gone and, because uh, I recorded this a bit ago, I did. I have gone and gotten uh, like all the uh, pieces of heart, uh, most of the treasure charts and stuff. Um, because I didn't want to spend five episodes and run over into the time of Breath of the Wild doing that. Um, and that did take me a couple of hours, so that would have taken about six episodes to do on top of these two. So, I do just want to get this uh, series finished now. It's been six months since I started it, um, so I really want to finish it. Um, so, out we go here. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Uh, if you have enjoyed, do leave a like and a comment. It's uh, greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, that'll be just about it. And I'll see you all next time. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.